Welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to be unboxing The Devils to Pay, The First Day at Gettysburg by Tiny, Tiny Battle Publishing. This is a continuation in the Blind Sword system from Herman Lutman, but this one is not by Revolution. Obviously, it's by Tiny Battle, so they have produced this in a uh, sleeved box format. It's, I believe, their first box game. Tiny Battle is known for their folio games. But this one got a little more special treatment. It's not a sleeve box, excuse me, it's a, they call it a pizza box. So we'll see how that looks here as we dig in. See how they've handled a treatment of Mulligan Swords. It opens long ways. Nope, no, it's not a pizza box. I don't know what they were saying, it's just a regular box. So there we go. All right, so you get six dice, two black, two red, to white. They're smaller dice, about 10 millimeter uh, dice. This is about the size of the old, if you remember, victory point games, who are now gone. It's about the size of their boxes. About a 9 by 6 box. Okay. Alright, so you get a rule book. Full color. It comes in at 35 pages. It's got a tutorial scenario. Um, let's see. Let's look at the index. But it is full color, which is nice, and they explain their their counter setup and how they're uh, formatted. So it's definitely a nice presentation. This is a chip pull game, so it's easily sullable. Um, I know a, there was that tutorial scenario, but I'm not sure. No index, you can't tell how many actual scenarios there are. So, uh, terrain chart is on the back. Uh, does not have a visual representation of the different uh, terrain. So hopefully that's in the book somewhere. And we got little sheets of counters. The little meaning half sheets. So there's two of those. You got the north and the south, obviously. Uh, you've got the uh, subset of the um, event chits for each side that are going to go in. And these are thinner, very flexible counters. Uh, I feel like they're kind of plastic coated. So uh, definitely going to need probably rounding, although they do punch pretty cleanly too, so maybe they don't. So we've got our Confederate Order of Battle card and Order of Battle for the Union reference card. Everything's going to be small enough to fit in this box. So, And then Confederate Play Raid, Union Play Raid has the sequence of play command table on the front and then has the event chit uh, descriptions on the back, one for each side. And then you got the shared CRT along with all the CRT modifiers and shifts. So it's kind of nice that they're actually smaller because you can pick them up and move them around the board, you know, hand them back and forth, and uh, it's not taking up a lot of extra table space or you're worried about knocking the map around. So, And then we do have a, they did keep, which is very awesome, the Rick Barber uh, map standard. So this is a Rick Barber map of Gettysburg. And you got your time track here along the bottom. And Gettysburg, uh, Belmers Hill, Blockers Knoll, uh, here's Ridge, McPherson's Ridge, Seminary Ridge, Cemetery Hill. So all those historic locations are on here. So this is a um, It's about a 21, eh, about a 21 by 17 map, maybe 17 by 22, all, all flattened out. Map, so it's not going to take up a lot of space, so you can play it in a small amount of area, which is very nice. So, that is there, the uh, Tiny Battle Publishing's implementation of Blind Swords. Um, so, Devils to Pay, if you pick it up, you're going to get the map. We're going to get the CRT, the Union and Confederate Play Raids, Order of Battle Reference Card, 
two sheets of counter, so it's low counter density, which is nice. And a rule book and scenario book comes in at 36 pages, six dice, and a box. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!